So guys, you know, when it comes to end of life refreshes, what are some of your experiences that you've seen? I think, um, you know, I think nowadays there's plenty of options in terms of hardware. So you have different devices that are more user friendly and with the new operating systems out there, yeah. um, it's very easy for the user to get accustomed to them. So maybe the old uh, technology or the previous devices right. were a little bit more complicated when you had new employees come in and try to use those devices. The training process was probably way longer than nowadays. Yeah. Talking about the hardware right now, the different options out there are pretty user friendly. Um, we're seeing a lot of uh, migration to Android, which is a very common yeah. operating system on the consumer and devices. So um, I think when we're talking about refreshing devices, uh, we're in a position where it's going to—it's a w easier process than uh, we were seeing before. Yeah, I agree. I think with the deprecation of support on the the old Windows CE devices that took place, I think this January, uh, organizations are really left to go elsewhere and that's the biggest refresh we're seeing just across our entire all of our existing customers and, and new business that we're bringing on is relatively Android based devices and that's really the future of, of a lot of the mobility in general um, so yeah that's really what we're seeing around the refresh of devices today so you know a lot of the different OS's that are out there um, you know I think Jason as you were saying is that you're seeing a big push from Windows Mobile and CE right off to Android are we seeing any other pushes to different operating systems as well or is that kind of the primary push I would say Android is the primarily push at, at least with mobile devices so other type of devices yeah we're seeing other operating systems I would say that um, to your point, uh, it's not necessarily forcing the refresh immediately. You can yeah. transition slowly yep. um, on, or depending on the application uh, you're cu currently uh, running with the devices. Um, but I think that when the customer is making the investment, uh, they need to think uh, about the future, right? So not only what investment they're making today, so um, overall TCO and then how uh, can I support uh, the upgrades in operating system in the following years? So nowadays with the different services that we have out there and the MDMs, et cetera, they have all the support required to make sure that when they're buying the device today, they're gonna get the support in the next five years in doing updates, upgrading an operating system, uh, et cetera. So it's, it's a device that's gonna be feature-proof as well. So Android, we all know, is really taking over the market when it comes to just mobile devices, and I think a lot of it has to do with the cost, right? Yeah. So when you look at, we, you know, MDM supports really every vast of OS, if you will. Um, so iOS, absolutely. Uh, but the cost of the devices is something that a lot of organizations are considering as they kind of make the switch from um, an older platform, whether it's Windows CE or Windows Mobile, et cetera. Um, over to Android because of the cost of the devices and the total cost of ownership. So, uh, you know, at the executive level, typically they want those iOS devices, uh, but then they start to break down the price and the cost of the devices and they understand what they can both do and a lot of them end up uh, leaning towards the Android devices. Yeah, and they think Google is doing a great job in, in the enterprise world. So they're okay. bringing more and more uh, updates, uh, better platforms, and uh, making sure the security concerns around Android are taken care of, et cetera. So even though like on the executive level, they normally consider iOS initially, yeah. I think when they put the, the pros and cons, uh, Android is a great platform to run your device on, and it has a ton of benefits um, to migrate from previous platforms to, to Android, I would say. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Great. Another thing with Android versus iOS is not only the cost, but the customized, the, the, the capabilities in yeah. the way you can manage those yeah. devices. Uh, Google or Android keeps it a little yeah. more open than iOS, um, which is fine. Um, but that's another reason why yeah. folks are moving towards the Android platform as well. Are you guys starting to see any other kind of paths or you know, pieces like that? So in general with MDM, what we're seeing is not obviously Android, but um, yes, Absolutely, Windows Modern, the latest Windows devices that are out there, but also iOS. And then you got to think outside of just operating systems, right? Yeah. You know, there's other devices other than just mobile devices. Yeah. You've got your, we'll call it iPhones and your Android phones. However, there's tablets out there, there's POS systems, there's uh, a laptop signage. Everything that runs on an operating system needs to be managed today. Really, what it does is it, it streamlines the productivity and uh, it just makes the overall uh, management and total cost of ownership that much easier. So we need to, you know, organizations start with MDM really around mobile devices, but then it slowly expands outside 
and, it, and uh, really holistically across their entire environment as long as it has an operating system that's supported. Yeah, no, for sure. And I think, you know, NDM is probably the foundation around mobile devices, but with different devices out there like laptops and uh, IoT devices, et cetera, you know, NDM is the foundation to EMM, for example. So, you know, connecting all sorts of devices that um, are, are managed and then you can take the most out of it so you're as productive as you can be by having different devices out there connected to each other as well. Yeah, and a big piece is that, you know, we're talking about mobile devices and all these different devices that are out there with operating systems. These can all be managed under one single pane. Yeah. Yeah. One login, everything's right there. You can, uh, you, can, you can allocate everything based on how the groups should be represented within your organization, and it's a really simple way to manage your devices. Right.